welcome again to my youtube channel in this video we are going to learn the basic concepts of kubernetes how kubernetes works so we are going to take a real life example with the cargo ships so this is the architecture of kubernetes the main components of kubernetes we have master node and worker node so we will understand what is in this worker node and what is in master node and how these two nodes work okay so let's uh, understand this uh, with a real life example suppose we have a cargo ships which carries containers across the sea so similarly you can understand this uh, cargo ships host applications like similar like the containers so we can say it's a worker node okay so in kubernetes we have a worker node which host applications as containers okay so it's matching with the cargo ships so we have worker node started out okay and then we have control ship which manage monitor the cargo ships okay and we can see this a uh, control ship as a master node because it plans schedule monitor okay and manage the cargo ships okay so the master node is similar to the uh, control ship so now we have master node and work node now let's talk about the key components of master node so we know the ship cranes okay every cargo uh, it's it is connected uh, you know when we load containers on a cargo ship we use a uh, ship cranes okay and these ship cranes you know identifies where to put the container okay on which cargo ship okay and okay so similarly in a uh, kubernetes we have a cube scheduler in our master node okay which decide okay uh, when to uh, add a new container uh, do something okay on to the worker node okay so this is a scheduler in our master node which scheduler uh, schedule these uh, things to operate inside the worker node so next we have a cargo ship database you know every cargo ship has some database so now we know, we know which container is on which ship and when it was loaded to the container okay uh, to the cargo okay so the cargo ship data is always uh, collected for uh, memory okay so we know what is on to the cargo ship similarly in kubernetes we have to store the database and different things as well so when we think about that it is the component which is into the kubernetes which is the etcd cluster so this is uh, the component this component is a part of the master node which notes all the database uh, related uh, things of all the information about the kubernetes into this etcd component next we have dog offices we know uh, in every uh, cargo ship or uh, we say a uh, control ship okay which uh, have some offices like to handle um, shipping handling and verify containers condition oversee uh, if any uh, container is damaged or okay? similarly it you know uh, help to communicate among the ships as well okay so uh, there is some management to look after how the cargo ships are working and the conditions okay and this concept like similarly we have controllers so concept of the controller is uh, in our uh, kubernetes okay? so these offices are similar to the controllers into the kubernetes okay? so we have node controller okay which take care of the nodes okay? responsible for onboarding new nodes okay if we have uh, uh, in in a cluster we have a one worker node we can add more nodes into the cluster okay? and these controller check how the nodes are working they are available they are not okay and similarly we have a replica controller those ensures that desired number of containers are running at all time on the node okay? so while we have another controller which we see a uh, controller manager okay which manages all the controller okay all the controllers in place okay whatever the controller are the part of the kubernetes okay? so this is this component which is a controller manager is part of the master node next we have a concept like how these services you know interact and communicate with each other okay like how scheduler uh, how control manager how etcd okay how these things communicate with each other 
So, uh, because uh, they have to inform uh, and pass the information, okay, for this, we have a cube API server okay? because this is a, a central hub and it provides API access and security and state storage, okay. So, uh, this cube API server helps, okay, uh, okay, to communicate between these all components of the master node, okay. So this bit, uh, this cube API is being used into the master node to communicate with each service. Okay. So this is was our master node. We have almost covered the main key components. Okay. So this is example with the real life cargo ships and control ship. Okay. So you understand the master node, how the, how, how master node work in Kubernetes. So it's very simple to understand. Next, we have to talk about the worker node. A cluster can have a many worker node, okay? A basic cluster can have, you know, a minimum one uh, worker node. Okay? So let's understand what is in the worker node. So give an example of a cargo ship, okay? We know the captain of the ship, which look uh, over to the shipboard activities and notify the captain of their interest, like uh, if they want to join uh, to other cargo, other uh, nodes, okay? So they communicate with each other, okay? So someone is sitting into the cargo ship, okay, which is a captain. Similarly, into the, uh, we say into our uh, cubelet, uh, into our node, worker node, we have a cubelet concept, okay? Cubelet is uh, similar to the captain. We, we can call it agent as well, okay? Which runs on each worker node, okay, of the container, okay? So, Similarly, this is a concept. So we have no uh, one component which is very clear, which is a part of the worker node, okay, which is the agent which manage, okay, and uh, you know operate uh, this worker node. And next, we have a communication between the, how how this communication work. How does uh, multiple or uh, two cargo ships communicate with each other? Okay, how two worker nodes communicate with each other? So. To communicate like between uh you know uh, if we have to communicate between the database server and the uh, worker node okay. so if we have a uh, two worker nodes okay, they can communicate using a uh, cube proxy okay. so the cube proxy help us to com uh, build communication between uh, the nodes okay. so similarly like a uh, cube proxy okay it is used to communicate uh, between the worker and next we have a concept which is part you know smallest unit into the kubernetes okay which is a part of uh, the worker node and one more thing about the pod into the pod okay you will have a container so in one pod we normally place one container or but we can place multiple containers as well and one worker node can have a multiple pods inside then we have a Docker containers. We know we have in, uh, Docker container, uh, which is a runtime is also used inside the pod. So the runtime of the Docker, okay, we are using Docker as a runtime inside the pod to run our containers. So this is a simple architecture we have discussed. Okay, these are the main components of the Kubernetes for both master node and the worker node. I hope you like this video. I will be uh, uploading more videos on Kubernetes concepts. Have a good day. Bye.